Hello, Sir Survivor here. And this video is part of the Apocalypse Tips series. This video is on edible plants in the southwestern United States. Now there are a multitude of plants in the southwestern United States that could be considered edible. Here we're going to focus on the 10 most common and probably the 10 most nutritious that we could actually find easily in the wild. Some things we should always take into account, and that is personal allergies and irritations that an individual may have to some types of plants or edibles in general. So make sure to understand your own allergies, your own abilities and limitations before using any of these for consumption. Remember, it only takes one mistake, so never eat anything that you cannot 100% positively identify with no doubt whatsoever. But here we're gonna look at 10 wild edibles that we can find in the Southwest. So let's get started. Number one, tepary beans. These beans contain something truly rare in foraging and that is a source of protein. This bean is one of the most drought tolerant legumes in the world with edible beans, leaves, and flowers. And it's often found growing up to one to three feet tall on the ground or sometimes in a climbing vine form. It's a broadleaf plant that has long pods that resemble the green beans. Don't harvest this plant if it's immature as only the beans within the pods are edible and not the pods themselves. So we'd be wasting a large portion of this plant. This plant can be used in stews, bean salads, chilies, or in any case, boiled in tiny amounts of water that we may have found during a survival situation. Pinion nuts. If we're lucky enough to find a patch of pinion trees in the fall, then we've pretty much hit the survival jackpot. Not only are these nuts delicious, but they're extremely dense in calories and in fat. One way to harvest these is to place a tarp or a cloth beneath the tree that we find them on and shake the tree trunks, hitting it with something to release the seeds from their cones and they'll fall to the ground to be collected on the tarp or cloth that we have placed there. Now these nuts can be harvested earlier in late summer as opposed to fall, but keep in mind that it will require drying or charring the harvested cones to remove the resin that seals in the seeds that time of year. These trees only produce a large harvest every several years, so it's very possible that we'll run up on a bunch of these and actually walk away with nothing. The yucca plant. Not to be confused with the yucca plant, Y-U-C-A, which is a edible that's grown and cultivated throughout Latin America. This is an edible wild plant that grows throughout the American Southwest. This plant is a low, spiky type shrub. It has many uses that extend past food into cordage and even making soap from. But the flowers, the fruits, the seeds, and even the young stalks are all edible. Now cooking is recommended for every part of this plant and the taste of this plant is generally kind of bitter from top to bottom. Next, stinging nettles. Now stinging nettles grow all over the United States in every single state except for Hawaii. Upon boiling or cooking these, the stingers will fall off during this process. Now this is generally one of the better tasting items if it has been prepared properly, but keep in mind that nettle stings hurt and you wanna make sure to cook this thoroughly, not to undercook it, because if we do undercook it, then we'll consume this edible and end up with the stingers in our stomachs and that's not gonna be a good feeling at all. And be sure to cover your hands to wear gloves and cover your arms when harvesting and make sure to try to hold the tips of the leaves and avoid touching the undersides of them because that's where the stingers are. The saguaro cactus, saguaro fruits. Saguaro cacti are easy to spot. Uh, these look exactly like the ones that we depict in or we see in cartoons and on TV shows. And these are the normal cactuses that we think of as you can see from the pictures. Early summer is the prime season for the fruits, but individual cacti can fruit at any time of the year. Fruits generally form at the tops of the cactus stalks Eat the interior, not the peels of the fruit. Saguaro fruits have a refreshing and sweet taste, uh, but have crunchy seeds. One thing that we might notice when we first attempt to harvest these fruits is that most of it grows very high from the ground, so you may need a stick or something to pry these off the top of the cacti. Prickly pears. 
Prickly pear is another cactus that has edible fruits. It has the advantage of not being 10 feet off the ground and the disadvantage of being extremely spiny. It has very long spikes or spines that are extremely sharp. The prickly pear is covered with traditional cactus spines, but also with tiny hard to see spines that are almost impossible to remove from your skin. Don't touch any part of the plant with your bare hands until you remove the spines. And this can be done by cutting out the nodes or by burning them off. And that may seem obvious when we're sitting here talking about this, but in a survival situation, it's really easy to try to tear into something. But this is one of those things we definitely want to take our time with. Prickly pear pads are also edible, that, but they're covered by the same small spikes. We do want to be aware that these are more like vegetables than fruits, and they will require more thorough cooking, and they don't taste as good as your general fruits. Purslane. Purslane is a succulent that thrives in sunny areas, and sunny areas pretty much describe the entire American Southwest. Now every part of the plant that grows above the ground can be eaten raw, and this includes the seeds. Look for a small squat shrub with a round leaves and thick reddish stems. The taste is similar to watercress or spinach, and it's best when the plant is young and tender. But these can be an excellent find in a survival situation. Miner's lettuce. Miner's lettuce has a very broad range and it extends from British Columbia to Baja, California and east to Arizona and Utah. This is a very wide ranging edible. It has a circular stem leaf and that's actually two. It's paired side by side and these are grown together. As the name indicates, these leaves are edible. These are edible raw but are definitely better boiled and can be combined with other edibles to make a pretty nice salad. Cola buds. These are cola cactus flower buds and these are a desert food treasure is what some people call them. These are known to very few in the southwest other than the traditional desert people. These buds have to be despined and they're generally covered with some type of salt bush foliage and shrubs. These are best boiled or baked but they can be eaten raw and they taste somewhat like asparagus tips with a little zing to them in the center. Now after drying and reconstituting they keep their rich vegetable flavors somewhat like artichoke hearts and some of the tang remains too. These will last for many years if dried and stored properly. They have somewhat a mild vegetable flavor. It's not very pronounced, but a lemony tang, and that varies from plant to plant. They're very rich in calcium and fiber and also carbohydrates. Mesquite. These trees have pods and look like string beans and they're quite nutritious actually. The best time to harvest the beans is when they're hard and golden. They can be eaten fresh, dried, baked, or pounded or ground into a meal to make flour with. Mesquite flour has a sweet taste and can often be used to replace some of the flour in baking recipes. The flowers from the mesquite tree can be roasted and made into balls or steeped as a tea. Mesquite tree sap makes a great eye wash or antiseptic when it's boiled and diluted with water. It can also be used to treat sunburns and chapped skin. A couple of additions. Mormon tea. Mormon tea is a plant made of long, thin, green stems. It's generally steeped into a tea to heal a variety of ailments, including kidney problems, colds, congestion, and urinary tract infections. Barrel cactus. The barrel cactus is a short plant with a thick and round shape. The flowers and fruit are both edible on this plant. The fruit can be consumed raw since it doesn't have any needles. It can be picked right off the plant and eaten right away. The black seeds inside the fruit can be eaten as well. It is commonly said that the water from the barrel cactus can be extracted in emergency situations, and this is somewhat true. But just be aware that the juice inside has been known to cause diarrhea and severe diarrhea in some occasions. So as appealing as it may sound to drink cactus water, drink it at your own risk. This video is focusing on the southwestern United States, but make sure to check out the channel for other videos that focus on different areas of the country and find the edible and medicinal plants in your neck of the woods. So thanks a lot for watching. I hope the video is informative, and for now, Serious Survivor.
out. <laughs>